All right, well, ChatGPT is among the fastest growing consumer apps in internet history. And with nearly 60 million monthly active users in December, it's showing no signs of slowing down. Well, our team spoke to Kathy Wood, ARK Invest founder and CEO, about the latest trend. Take a listen to what she had to say. What I would be looking for a little bit more, and it uh, is how are our companies harnessing AI for their own businesses? Do they have these proprietary data sets? So that's the first thing, because this is going to, AI is going to enable the most massive productivity increase in our history. Well, joining us now to break down the open AI computer program is Yahoo Finance's Ali Garfinkel. We know that Kathy likes to do a long play. She, she's usually ahead of the game on some of these things, still waiting for them to pay off. But what about ChatGPT? So Rochelle, ChatGPT is on pace to pass 100 million active monthly users after just two months since its launch. This data is from UBS, and I want to put in some context the company that chat, this puts ChatGPT in. So, you know, here you have the months to reach 100 million global mo active monthly users, right? You have Instagram at 30 months, Pinterest at 41, you have TikTok at an incredible nine, and you have ChatGPT at two. Now, for context, you think about Google Translate, Spotify, Uber. We think of these as spectacularly successful apps, tech problems aside, and that is an incredibly important part of this. The other key fact here, Rochelle, the total addressable market for generative AI could be over $1 trillion. And ChatGPT is currently averaging 13 million unique visitors per day, which is more than double what we saw in December. So some of this data, frankly, is pretty jaw-dropping. We're seeing applications all over the place. I mean, when you consider just how, how recently we even found out about this company, only a few years and being just two months away from hitting that level. I mean, it really is mind boggling. Now, is there then any company looking to compete with ChatGPT? There certainly are a lot of would-be competitors. Of course, the most famous case of this is Google. Google, ChatGPT has been called a Google killer. I personally think that while talking about ChatGPT as a Google killer is a little overblown, it doesn't change the fact that Google is going to be asked about ChatGPT and its plans with generative AI today in its earnings call. At the same time, from China, you also have Baidu, which is positioned positioning itself as China's top AI developer. So they're reportedly getting in the game and Baidu stock has popped on the news. Lastly, even yesterday in Meta's earnings call, Mark Zuckerberg spoke positively about generative AI, saying that he's very optimistic about it and doesn't want to get ahead of the game, but that it's something he's watching. So Rochelle, there are would-be competitors all around, but we'll see who kind of comes to the fore as the real competitor to ChatGPT. I mean, this, this race really is heating up. Fantastic stuff there. Ali Garfinkel there for us.